Jake knows how much you hate Franco. Everybody knows. And that made it so hard for him and my mom because loving Franco means going against you and they don't want to do that. Okay, Jake thinks the world of you. He thinks that you can do anything and all he wanted was for you and Franco to get along. But you couldn't even just pretend that. But that's not a problem anymore, is it? Because Franco's gone and you helped make sure that he would never come back. Cameron. What happened at the hearing today is not Jason's fault. You heard the judge. The deciding factor was Dr. Collins' testimony. He's the one that said Franco was mentally competent to make his own choices. Exactly, that's what he said. That's what Jason said. He said that I'm not qualified to tell you who that man is. He could tell you that himself. It made the most sense out of anyone who got on by that stand until Dr. Collins got up. It was just calm and reasonable. So of course the judge listened to you. The rest of us sounded like we were crazy. And maybe we were on both sides, but we love Franco. And you just wanted to get rid of him. Cameron, that's enough. I need you to go upstairs. I'd like to speak with Jason alone. Go. Excuse the outburst. He's angry at the world right now, not just you. I get it and I admire his loyalty to his family. But really, I wish I just wasn't even called to testify. Yeah, me too. Hello? Is place open? Lights are on, so I took a chance. I know you? No, but I know you. You know, Cameron made a good argument for why I shouldn't be involved in telling Jake. Like I said, he's mad at the world. Yeah, well, that doesn't mean he's wrong. I know. Jake really loves Franco. It's gonna be a huge heartbreak for him. Yeah, well, I don't, I don't want to make it any worse on him. Or you. So, you know, whatever you want me to do, I'll do. You want me to be here? You want me to stay away? I think it would whatever. be best right now if you just stayed away. Let Jake find out from me and his brother, and then let us deal with the grief as a family. Bobby, I really, really thought I could win this. Maybe something you said in the courtroom will resonate with Franco, and... He'll change his mind. No, I need more than a maybe. The court failed me, and I I did something that I, I never thought I would do. I mean, this is how desperate I was. I went to your son-in-law. You went to Sonny? Yes, and I begged him. And you know what he did? He turned his back on me. Look, I've had a hell of a day. Just looking to hit a bag. Not exactly dressed for it. You closed, yes or no? Yeah. But you got a few minutes. Thank you. Exactly go the way you want it to go. News travels fast. Welcome to Port Charles. You a spotter? Put your hand down. It's very generous of you. You're always so generous. Only to my friends. So you and I are friends? Well, you, you have the memory of uh, memories of somebody that I meant a lot to me, but the face of somebody that I never want to see again. Must be tricky for you. Yeah, I mean, you can imagine the reaction I had when your father came in here and asked me for help. 